Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Um, we just decided today to do uh, a, a test based on one of the polls we ran recently yes. on our Patreon page. Yep. Uh, we asked everyone in the Patreon, all our patrons, um, what they wanted to see us test next. Yes. Uh, I think the, the, there was four options. Yep. There was Players Iron, mm -hmm. Fairy Woods. Yes. What were the other ones? I did hybrids and, hybrids and game improvement irons right. as well. Okay, so just so we can obviously get your feedback as to mm -hmm. what the, the consensus is from the, the community as to what you want to see. Uh, and, and Players Iron was, was, the, was the, winner. the winner. I mean, everything, I think all those topics are quite popular. Yeah. Um, we just want to give people a chance to say, what do you want to see right now? Exactly. So we will do all of those, just so mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. uh, Players Irons is, is first up. Exactly. So we decided to pick our top five in the store. We went through kind of our... Um, sort of the, the database right now is to what are the top five sellers. So mm. we picked out five, uh, which were the Srixon Z765. Yep. We went with the Callaway X Forged. These guys. That one. The uh, Titleist 718CB. That was there. Great looking iron. Great the looking uh, TaylorMade P770. Mm -hmm. And that one, you know, if anything, that one might. It falls into player's iron, but probably just. So we had this conversation, you were saying the P750. P750, the Proto, is probably the, uh, the, the kind of more of the player's iron, the slightly less offset, quite similar to the head right. shape, but a little less, less offset. offset. Okay. But um, close enough. Close enough. And then obviously the ping eye blades definitely yeah, in the, the player's iron category. All right. So we, we had Matty uh, do a little little test with all of them. Um, and and the, the kind of result was, was quite Quite interesting, wasn't it? It was interesting. So before we started this, we kind of had the conversation. I guess I opened with you saying, to me, mm -hmm. these look really similar, right. all of them. I mean, yeah. to me, the eye blade being the exception where I can see, I know it's cast and it has a bit more technology and you know under the uh, cavity there. Sure. Yeah. But when I look at these other four, I see forged irons yeah. with so a bit of a cavity. You think if I was literally not allowing you to see the back of the iron and I was just kind of swapping them out and handing you them, you'd be like, yeah, it looks very similar to the last one. Yes. I couldn't tell you which one this is. The only time I would have told, oh, I definitely would have been able to tell the eye blade, obviously, mm -hmm. because the sure. finish is different and it looks different. Right. But um, with these guys, pretty much all look the same. The Quite Callaway similar. has a bit more of a rounded look, I guess. Sure. But at a dress, no, the top lines are all pretty much, mm -hmm. they look very, Quite very similar. similar very similar finish. Um, we first started out with making sure that we were controlling as many variables as we possibly could. So every club went to 29 degrees aloft and a 61 degree lie angle, which yep. is exactly where you play your irons. Normal spec. Normal spec for Matt. So that we were obviously making sure we weren't having to build in, okay, well that one spun more because it had more loft, yep. etc. Or the ball speed was higher because it had less yep. loft. So this is great. We just compared them exactly the way they are. Standardized yep. it. Um, why don't we talk to a little bit the objective of the video, why we've done sure. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so obviously for you guys, it's. It's all about buying decisions, and we, we think that a lot of the videos we've done, that's been kind of what we're trying to kind of give back a little bit, is a little bit more information for you guys so that you can see, okay, if you're categorized as a high spin player, maybe the, the Strixon's the way to go. You know, that type of, that's the, the, the feedback or the value to the Some the insight, viewer. exactly. Yeah. Because you would go to it, I mean, if you don't have access to a place like this, which a lot of people don't, right. you go to the store and you see all these on the rack, mm -hmm. And there are more. We, we didn't test everything you could test. There's sure. at least four or five more irons that, uh, that look around the same design. Where do you start? Yeah. So even if you go to a fitting, you're not going to hit 15 different kinds of irons. Mm -hmm. You're not even going to hit more than five or six. Not in a fitting. No, not in a, proper, not in a proper fitting. fitting. So yeah. you need to be able to narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did with the low spin driver video. Yep. I wanted people to be able to narrow it down a bit and go to their fitter and say, okay, I know that I'm not the highest spin player. Right. Don't give me M3 with the weights mm -hmm. for it because I know I won't spin yeah. it narrow it down a bit. So that's the goal of this. Exactly. Uh, and and can it give us give us your, your kind of individual feedback yeah. then let's let's run through them and what did For you sure. what did you see? So in terms of the feel of them, I, yep. I think aside from the eye blade, they all felt fairly similar. Okay. Um, I did get a little bit of a different feel from this guy here. Quite quick, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so the tailor made felt like it was quite in, in a good way, yeah, jumpy, yeah, yeah. like yeah. it was kind of hot off the face. I've, I've, I've found that, I've seen yeah. that, that one, at times the P770, guys, is, is really quick. Right. Um, so, at times can be 
you know, a little bit hotter than the other ones in the category. Which I definitely, I think I felt for mm -hmm. sure. Um, the Strixon, I think the, fr the funny thing is the first time I ever hit that, <laughs> relative to my irons, it felt so hot because it was so much better on ball speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so not to say that these are slow, these mm -hmm. are certainly not slow on ball speed, but I think I felt a little bit more jump off this guy. But in terms of the way the forging feels, um, quite similar. Uh, the Strixon to me is probably the softest feeling. Yeah. But again, we're getting into some pretty subjective territory that's, at this that's, point. That's right? a good point. That, yeah. and that is a subjective thing. Yeah. You know, how you hit it will often influence how soft it feels. Of course. Um, you know, I had a customer who was in the other day get fit for a G400 driver uh, this year in his, his driving range. Mm. Uh, and he was actually against hitting it in the bay because he, he, he said it on the range, it felt hard, it didn't feel good. And, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I know that that's not yeah. the feedback I, be, I get with people. So the first thing that pops into my head is, I wonder what golf ball he was fit with. Oh, okay. So maybe the golf ball um, type influenced how he felt with the driver. So I just asked him to be open-minded about it and yeah, you, know, th you know, just let us do our thing. Loved it. Yeah. He absolutely loved it. So he said it felt so different this time. And I tried to explain that to him as to why it might obviously feel different in, mm -hmm. in the feedback that he got. Sure enough, he, he completely agreed. Yeah, that's good. I think if you present someone with results, yep. at that point, you kind of lose your biases a little exactly. bit easier. But yep. um, yeah, feel-wise, I would say quite similar. The eye blade is a little bit more of, I guess, a clicky feel. It is cast, A little firmer obviously. feel than the other yeah, ones. a little bit firmer. Okay. But again, they're quite nice for a cast club. So yeah. it, I wouldn't deter anyone from trying any of these based no. on feel. All very nice feeling clubs. So let's look at uh, let's look at the results. Look they at were the numbers. Pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah so... Um, the, the P770 was the winner, uh, the winner, the fastest. the fastest. It was definitely the quickest. For me, the P770 was the best performer. If I looked yeah. at that, those set, that set of numbers across the board, I go, okay, it was great on ball speed. Launch and spin were, were excellent. It was the highest spin out of all of them. Mm -hmm. um, it had the um, most appropriate peak height at 112 <laughs> feet right. with the best land angle. So in all categories for me, that's, that's gonna win for you. Control coming into the green mat is, is obviously something that we use to score. Yeah. So you've got angle of descent plus higher spin. So you're going to be able to stop those those longer irons much easier. Hmm. So uh, that that for me was was overall um, the best. I really didn't see we, we didn't see almost any difference between Z765, yep. 718 CB, and X4s. I know. They were almost identical. Yeah. Yeah. There was literally one yard of difference on average between all of them. Crazy. The, the launch angle was 15, the spin rate was 50, 4900, 4977, and 5000. You know, know, basically the same. Yeah. And the ball speed was 129 in all of them. I mean, and you, again, you look at them and you say, okay. Yeah. They look pretty much the same. <laughs> if, if you standardize the loft and lies, I know. this is probably what you'll find in most cases. It's the kind of thing that will happen. And then, and then the good news is you can say, okay, I like Callaway. Yep. Callaway is my thing. I sure. like it. I like the look of this one. I like one. the look. I like so the feel. Yeah. Buy that yeah. one. You know what I mean? Because it, at least now you have 100%. the variety of options and you yeah. know they'll, they'll perform pretty similar. Definitely. Now, the only thing I'll say, I'm not, you've noted this before, lately with um, what I've been working on my swing, I'm not a high spin player. Mm -hmm. So when we say that these are, you know, better in terms of launch for me, the P770, mm -hmm. just because I tend to be a little bit lower in spin than most. Yeah. But for the higher spin player, mm -hmm. going with something like that. Yeah is smarter because it's going to knock a, a hair of that backspin off. And we find that, yeah. um, you know, generally speaking, the, the Strix is a little bit lower spin than some of the, the other irons out there, which mm -hmm. is your faster guys can at times benefit from that a little bit if they do tend to pitch a little too high. Is That's that a CG location thing? Are we talking about the, the CG location of this being lower? Being a little bit lower. And the interesting with the thing is with P770 though, is that it launched lower. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it launched a degree lower, but spun a little bit more. So Interesting. it had a nice kind of combination uh, of, of not kind of ballooning, uh, but it did have lots of spin on it. Yeah. So I was pleasantly surprised with these. Yeah. I'd never uh, tried them, actually. Your first time trying them. Yeah, quite a nice iron. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, no, they're, they're good. They're, I would say, Matt, <clears throat> I really think of the P770 as one of those irons that if someone comes in to see me and they're looking to transition out of a game improvement iron okay. into a slightly smaller package but still have forgiveness and ball speed and all of those good things, P770 is always in that conversation gotcha. for me. Yeah. I think it's a really, really good head uh, for that type of player. Guys, if, if you're maybe a you know, maybe a 15 and your, your handicap's coming down and you, you kind of want to treat yourself to a new set and you think, okay, to get to the next yeah. level in my game, I'm going to try to... Uh, get a, a slightly smaller head that puts a bit more pressure on the striking, gotcha. but they're, yeah. they're willing to put in the work to, to bring out the best of that. 
a P770 would be a great option. Yeah. I'll say forgiveness wise, I didn't flush every single shot. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I slightly miss it at least a few. Sure. And all these were quite nice in their standard forgiveness. Standard variable, you know, we're yeah, standard, yeah, standard variable. None of know. them, obviously, we didn't include data from a bad shot, yep. but we didn't, you know, we didn't throw one that was slightly miss it. And yep. I noticed the distances they were flying quite consistent. Mm -hmm. You weren't losing, you know, I wouldn't say you toe strike this Strix on and you're going to lose 10 yeah, yards. Yeah, it was yeah. a, seemingly, you know, three, four yards at most we were losing on those miss hits. Excellent. Well, you know, hopefully a little food for thought in the yes. players' iron category. Uh, we'll be sure to expand on this as, as we get into the, the season. I'm sure there'll be a few, a few people thinking, you know, why wasn't the Mizuno MP18 in there? Yep. Some of the other players' irons in the, in the kind of market. We'll, we'll do those at some point down the line. We'll, we'll add these in. Obviously, we've just got to be conscious yeah. of which ones we select at this Call point. Call this volume one of this. Sure. Uh, it would be great, actually, if you could comment. Uh, everybody comment with the ones that we didn't test that you want to see. Yep. We'll make a volume two or three and whatever we have to do. Because obviously we weren't going to test 25 irons and jam it into one video. So. Yeah, we try and, you know, we try and collect uh, some really good accurate data. We yep. try and make it relevant to what we're finding works well in the store. So this is the first five. We'll have another wave of another awesome. five coming, um, coming your way soon. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm looking Excellent. forward to it. Good stuff. Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave your comments below. We, we love reading them as always. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know if there's anything you, know, you want to see in there. We'll probably run another poll this week. Yeah, and every week, you know, kind of like the, the wine the bag seg uh, segment became, you know, a regular feature. What we'll have our, our polled, you know, question of the week of yeah, what you what want you us see. to do. Yep, look yeah. out for that for sure. Exactly. Excellent. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.